Hello everyone and welcome back to SFG Reviews and if you're new, welcome. I'm Sifun Girl and today's video I'm really excited because I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Barbie Made to Move Curvy Barbie doll. I'm really excited so let's get into it. So here we see her in the box uh, and so as I mentioned this is the curvy body type but it's also a Made to Move body type which I think is so cool because I love the Made to Move body because it's really articulated but I also think the curvy and the tall and the petite uh, Barbies are really cool that they have like the different body shapes and not just like the standard Barbie body type if that makes any sense. Anyways, so here she is inside of the box and if we look down here it says Barbie made to move and this doll is recommended for the ages free and up. And on the back we see the other dolls in this collection. So I actually already have the African American girl uh, but I'm missing Barbie and Teresa I guess. But yeah. Again, I already have one of them out of the four, so now I'll have two out of four, which is pretty neat. So now that we've taken a closer look at the box, let's get unboxing. Okay, so now we have our curvy made to move Barbie doll out of the box. And so the first thing I think we should do is maybe give her name instead of calling her curvy Barbie doll. And so I think we're gonna call her uh, Rebecca. So here's Rebecca. Um, she comes in this really pretty uh, yoga outfit, which consists of this gray t-shirt that has like this little coral orange detail, kind of like if she has like a tank top underneath, although it's one piece. And then she has paired it with these really pretty floral leggings and they're kind of like the Capri style leggings and they have like the blue roses and lots of different like blue shades of flowers along with little like orangish um, petals. And so I think that's really cool. And the uh, shirt velcros in the back as you can see right here and the pants are just elasticated. As for her beautiful articulation, she has movement at the head, rib cage, shoulder, and then forearm, uh, elbow, and she can actually go all the way up like so, I think. Her joints are really stiff. Hmm. I don't know if she can go all the way, because I remember my other curvy doll could go much further than what this girl can do. So I don't know, I'm going to have to look into that, because I don't want to break her arms by accident. But anyways, she also has movement at the wrists and at the hip. And then at the hip joint, or what you want to call it, um, the knee. And see, this way, she, this, uh, at her knee, she can go all the way along with her ankle. So I think she's supposed to be able to go all the way at her elbow, but it doesn't want to budge for me. Oh, there we go. Okay, so as you can probably notice, her um, joints are really stiff. And I'm guessing they'll probably loosen up after playing with her for a while but it just bugs me that I have to push so hard to get her joints to move. Uh, as for her face, she has this beautiful pink lipstick and she has kind of like these green gray eyes. Then she has a uh, dark brown eyebrow. She comes with this black hair elastic, kind of be like a headband, along with this caramel blonde hair, which I think is really pretty. And it's kind of showing up red in the camera, but it's more of a like a caramel blonde. Overall, I think she's really adorable and I really like her articulation because she can do some amazingly cool things, especially when her joints aren't as stiff as they are currently. As you can see, she can sit and do like the splits. I can actually put her in a better split position like so. And she can hold her hand up to her ear, which means she can actually be on a cell phone call and it kind of looks like she's on a call while doing the splits while taking a selfie just that she's missing the cell phone. Overall I'm super happy with Rebecca. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the Barbie made to move dolls and do you think it's cool how Barbie is not only doing really articulated body types but also different body types from curvy to petite to tall and to keeping their classic Barbie body shape. Let me know in the comment section down below and also let me know if you've seen the sneak peek previews of the new 2019 Barbie Fashionistas for the fall. 
I think they're really cool that they're being even more inclusive, including a wheelchair and a prosthetic leg and lots of new body types and hair types. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it and click that red subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Also check out the description box down below where you can find informational links such as my Patreon page, my blog, and my website. Until next time, bye!